All right, man, 14th place, Jonathan De La Rosa. Hey, I, John, I'm sorry, man. If you do see this, I'm just, I'm just not the biggest fan of this dude's physique. He's conditioned, don't get me wrong. Dude is conditioned, his legs are about as separated as they're gonna get. Very, very good conditioning and separation, very round delts, definitely. The reason why this guy is not placed higher is because of his size. And obviously because of his conditioning, he beat or placed higher than William Bonac. Let's go to this ab shot, very good ab shot. Very deep separation in his legs. Very well developed legs. You can tell this guy's been working on all the different exercises to set Separate these things out. One thing I will notice though, he just doesn't have a lot of peak on his biceps. This next shot right here is probably John's best pose. The guy is full in this pose, great rear delts. Look at that, you can see them rear delts are just so dang round from that area. Solid forearms. All right, next shot, we're gonna take a look at this guy's back. John obviously lacks some serious thickness in his back to take down the big boys. The calves, there's like, there's no like diamond shape, big peak on this guy's calves. But um, honestly, he's got good shape as far as, he's got good, decent shape. I think if he got bigger, kept the same conditioning, he would do a lot better. I mean, again, look, he's just got a very, very insane separation in his legs, so much it was good enough to take down William Bonac. All right, man, 13th place, you got Mr. Fred Smalls, probably one of the most entertaining posers in the Mr. Olympia. Dude, Fred, I got props for Fred, man. I do, I got some proper swarm because Fred has been competing and competing. He's been so persistent and this guy has finally been able to come up with a, a very, very complete, very good looking physique that is placing higher and higher in the shows. Hats off, man, he's working hard. Look, check this physique out, man. Very, very proportionate. He looks great. Um, the only thing I can see, man, his stomach's big. I mean, no, hey, it ain't just me. You look, man, his stomach's kind of big. He's got smaller calves. And really from the knees up, his, his legs look good. He, he looks very balanced and again, very proportionate. Let's go on to this next shot, check this out. His obliques, they are kind of blocky. They do take away from that tight, tight waist. Calves just look very, very small. And you know, you're not seeing that deep separation, those deep cuts like John De La Rosa had. This competitor, he's very full, but his legs look almost too full. Like, almost like there's too much blood in there. They're too pumped up and that really did, did take away from that separation in his legs. But I definitely can see why he beat John De La Rosa. He totally outmuscles Jonathan De La Rosa. Very classic physique. I like this man's physique. Moving on, next picture you can see. Uh, from my eyes, he looks like he has some lagging hamstrings. Uh, the legs, as far as thickness are concerned, definitely don't look as thick from the rear. Uh, coupled that with the lagging hamstrings, not the best pose for him. Moving on, you can see here, Fred, you know, he, he's got the shape there, but he's lagging uh, that lower lat thickness. He definitely needs to add that lower lat thickness. Drop them down. Huge shoulders though, I can't tell you that. And lastly, this last picture, you can clearly see his inner thighs, his adductors are missing. Missing. Abs look just totally distended. You know, if this guy can come in tighter, maybe not play the size game as much, this guy again is gonna place higher and higher and is gonna do well in next year's Mr. Olympia if he places.